Well, there's growing tension this morning over the future of Chicago public schools, both the leadership and also school closures. And this is support continues to roll in for Chicago Public Schools Chief Pedro Martinez after the mayor and others said they want him out. Marissa Perlman live at the Chicago Teachers Union headquarters with more on what we could see this week. Marissa, good morning. Good morning to you, Audrina. Yeah, a lot of moving parts to follow here. First, tomorrow, the Chicago School Board will vote on a resolution promising no school closures until 2027. Now, this resolution is in response, in part, to claims made by the Chicago Teachers Union, who say Martinez uh, is planning closures, passing a vote of no confidence in the CEO. But in a letter to families this week, Martinez has said that won't happen and described talk of the closures as a tactic to undermine him. Now, this this vote comes just days after Mayor Brandon Johnson asked Martinez to resign. Mexican American leaders and CPS parents rallied outside of Pilsen's Benito Juarez High School, Martinez's alma mater, in the pouring rain yesterday. This just one of the groups coming to his defense right now. Now, according to Crane's Chicago, business groups are now publicly supporting him as well. The Civic Committee of the Commercial Club of Chicago and the Chamber of Commerce issued a joint statement urging the board to ignore calls to fire Martinez. Also this, a letter signed from a group of city council members also encouraging the board to stand by the school board CEO. Now, community leaders say Martinez has been unfairly targeted by Mayor Johnson and the CTU for opposing high interest loans to support teacher raises at a time when CPS is facing a $55 million deficit. The rumors and innuendo coming out of the fifth floor to damage the reputation of Pedro is just uh, just wrong, plain wrong. I can see uh, the really good job he did. He should not give in to the mayor. Now, CPS and the CTU met uh, for a contract bargaining session last night. We're told that meeting was tense in light of these calls for change at the top. Now, Martinez wrote an op-ed in the Chicago Tribune saying he will not step down. Now, it says in part he calls doing so would create a leadership vacuum. And now it's up to the school board to keep him or change his position. We're live outside of CTU headquarters. I'm Marissa Perlman, CBS News Chicago.